Hello and welcome, and this is normally when I do the crypto day morning. It's about 9 a.m. Eastern time, but I've already done that video, 20 minute one. And I didn't talk about Litecoin, so let's talk about it in this particular video. All trades, bets, and of the like within one's own risk reward. And uh, we're looking at a situation where, you know, I could talk about reversal of trend in here for the stages, and it all works out where you establish resistance, come back to the 18 average and right down on the lows. 18 average uh, of lows this uh, period was 54 and change and the low was 54 and change, a differential of like 15 cents from what the low was here to the actual 18 lows, but, but whatever on that part. The high in here is uh, 63.80 and it's gotten to 64.50 just moments ago okay so it hasn't clearly broken it but it looks like that's going to be the case when it comes down to it it's going to be the three-day time frame that i'm going to need to see as far as the reversal of trend as is the case within bitcoin so any type of rally will just make a change in the market and thus uh, establishing resistance and really making its move uh, it's like a jailbreak is one way of putting it in a bear market above the 18 average if any rally comes in and you got to think right now as far as where it came from 73 dollars to about 75 might be an area of uh, a level of resistance the next key level after that's going to be most likely between 110 to about 130 and as I was stating with 100, probably not being support on the way down, I will definitely say the case, as, again, 110 is the low end number, that it, not to be resistance, that if it manages to get up to 94, 98, I would be expecting completely good high chance that it's going to at least come up to, uh, well, again, the 110, 112 area as far as its minimum move. 15 minute time frame. Uh, this is what has happened the volume very very high as far as the daily term time frame is the volume it's not noticeable the day is about halfway through single hour time frame and that's normally the case when you have a big up or down move but it has had a quick move $58 up to 64 and it's really a retest of the previous uh, high in here that's probably the 400 minute or let's try to put it, let's look at this against Bitcoin. And then look at it against Binance coin next, because I've just sold it against Binance at 629 on the uh, the price there against Binance. I just checked that now. I've sold a little bit, uh, 30 bucks worth of Litecoin against Bitcoin, 25 against the Binance coin. So I've made more trades just now than I did in like the previous like day and a quarter, day and a half. It's uh, just crazy how uh, how the markets have been going not so uh, moving but I've had some interesting moves here and there as far as decent setups and oh it looks like we might have some gains coming in so I'd be, I'm going to be curious to see how the crypto market works over the next few weeks because it looks like there's a chance we might get a good overall pop but as far as against Bitcoin is concerned Hey, you know what? It's gotten above this level of resistance. So it's at highs not seen against Bitcoin since August the 9th. And it's uh, had a situation where we see the 18 and like a waterfall slide in here. And then it's going, and you can see it's basically been going sideways. There's a little bit of going down here at a very low volatile rate or a low rate of dissension rather is a better way of putting it. But then you get above the 18 on September the 21st several days and getting above it so that that's the type of stuff that i'm looking for in reversal of trends buying i mean if you're looking just for like strategies okay if this thing comes back this is something i think in my head how about that i'll if this thing comes down to like 928 i'm gonna be like for the 18 average of highs i'm gonna be looking to go long probably put a stop if you play that game below the 18 of lows and uh, then look to, and then maybe a buy order at the 18 average of lows at that, and then stop it 
So you have a buy order, say, right here, have a buy order at around, say, 85.6, and then stop it all out at about 80. And then you're looking for, well, tremendous gains if it's able to revert this trend because as we can see here, like, I mean, this is like a waterfall move. I mean, what's the most previous level of key res uh, support? Yeah, you got a very, you got a tiny amount here at uh, the one handle, the even number. And you got another tiny amount here at about 122, but it doesn't get into play until about 140 up to about 156 as a major key level because again that just was a waterfall move buy low sell high mid buy 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 for the most part on the downward movements and uh, oftentimes within these markets they can have some large moves to the upside when so desires to be the case as was such when it got on coinbase in here and it just went straight up. Even this small move in here when it had some beautiful up and down choppy moves. I like this type of downward movement up and down than this here, but whatever the market does, it does. But decent size up move here, it's down. Decent size up move here, then down. Decent size up move here, and this is a spot where it went from like 005 to, well, basically a 4X gain in uh, just a few days, uh, three or so, or, le or within three periods, one, two, three periods, yes. So if it's going to desire to do such, it's at least going to be its first attempt on that jailbreak, getting out above of a big bear market. And again, as I'm stating, it's trying to test some of these levels. Well, uh, we'll see how it does. So I'm gonna take a look at this against Ethereum as well, but Binance Coin, again, I made sell order in at 629. And it's up to 643. So I'm probably going to be looking to be selling close to about seven dollars to seven and a half as my uh, next order. So right here, my sell order hit. It's been a while since I've even traded this. Uh, my previous trade before that. And that was a sell order under six. And it's been so long since I have placed orders within such. It's been a few weeks since I've made a trade. Now, how I've set this up, since I own quite a bit of Litecoin, I'm trading it against three different crosses, that of uh, Bitcoin, Binance Coin, and Ethereum, that against uh, this crossing, this is just some of my orders. 664 is my next sale and I did all of these orders at around 8:21 p.m. Eastern time on August the 31st. Thankfully, I don't have to delete them after 28 days, but 664, 699, 737 and just gradually as the price goes higher, then I have the sell orders. My highest buy order is going to change because I'm going to have to adjust the trades, but it was five. But since a buy order has came or a sell order has came in, where do I put my next buy order? About five thirty-five, probably about five thirty-two, and towards these uh, lows in here, and then just keep working them way up, almost like a computer. And as price goes higher, sell orders fill and the buy orders rise. And of course, as markets go down, it's basically around the complete opposite 50 minute time frame for this one. There's your quick little moves. It's consolidating a little bit. Let's take a look at this against Ether. And uh, this is what it looks like against Bittrex. It's got more data, so that's why I use that. Uh, it's actually not traded on Poloniex, which is quite odd. But it is, uh, as far as my next sell order is concerned, I haven't traded this in a while. I had a sell order hit, I think a couple weeks ago. So let me take a look at that now. And I had sold on September the 1st at 2249, then I get at 2389, and then 2789. 
September the 8th. Let's take a look at that chart now. Actually, I was looking at it. Which uh, meant that when it came down to uh, 20... I'm going to guess. I see... Well, maybe... It's, I know it's... I'm going to guess that I missed... I probably have my buy order close to this number here at 23, knowing me. I haven't checked in a while, so I'm going to check my orders on it now. And I'm going to realize that if I'm going to be looking for a breakout, where do I think that is? Well, it's the 33 is the number, really. I've had these lines in there for a coon age. And in looking at the orders, which hasn't been changed in several days, and I'm not going to change them right now. I have three buy orders in at 22.4. And I got to put the price in only because I want to talk about my wagering strategy with some coins. You've seen with the last one, every small increments, and there's about five or six, seven pairings where it doesn't take much for me to get a buy or sell order in. And of course, Litecoin against Bitcoin, Litecoin against Binance coin are two of them, but not against Ethereum. For I have a sell order at 32.776, selling a half of a Litecoin little bit more 1.2 but that's if it goes to 50 or 0.5 and if it goes to 2.33 then I'll sell 4.8 which means I got six and a half right now for sale against Ethereum what will happen if this sell order hits then I'm going to be placing a buy order to buy it back probably in the area of about 25 if it hits I will probably try to buy back well over 0 0.6. The amount of Ethereum I get, I'll, I'll do an all-in bet basically. So everything that I make in Ethereum, I'll buy back. So it'll work out to be like these numbers a little bit higher, selling 0.5 at a time. If this sell order hits, then I'll readjust the sell orders. I'll put another sell order in probably for about 35 to 36. And that'll be for a half of a Litecoin. Then I will put another one in for a decent gain thereafter. We'll probably be moved from about 57. And I would sell about, about 1.2. And then just another large number. And, and Binance, you got to go. You can't pretty much do greater than a 10x move. So I would move it to like $3.30 or 3.3. Sell what's ever left, which would be four point three at that point and then if need be I can always deposit more Litecoin to sell more so that's how I usually do it every time like I say a sell order comes in I'm going to put a new one what percentage gain do I want to do from here is there any key levels I want to sell at in this case of course the 32776 handle represents a small pierce below this uh, key Fibonacci line that I've had in for a while at the 30 uh, well, 33.2 number. So that is the basics of uh, how I like to do the orders. At this stage, I'm not trading Litecoin against the dollar. Normally I would, how, and I could without using the tether because I could on Cryptopia trade Litecoin against the uh, true US dollar. And I probably should on there. I really probably should. But the more I delay and wait, the more it goes up. If it does, I could always deposit some at any time and then just make a trade. If I ever want to just get into trading that exchange, because I did trade and cross against the Tether before. But then I discontinued and sold every single amount of USDT over a month ago thus moving everything into true US dollar. And uh, yeah, so that's generally how uh, I've been doing it. So I'm only trading Litecoin against Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, and against the Binance coin. These coins are gonna have decent sized gains and you, you can say all you want about the fact that how Man, this thing was at like 340. Now it's down to like 60 and it's been down to 50. Well, all the altcoins have had pretty decent size moves. And the fact that it's last 
400 to the fact that it hasn't lost 10x compared to so many other coins well i guess it's a bit larger of one but ethereum litecoin ripple eos lumen all of the big cap market coins have had significant losses and they've all had significant gains because they got the same story. Last year, price action was much lower than where it is now. In this case, Litecoin at about $4. Start of the year, much, much higher. In this case, 350 And of course, you can see how it's, uh, well, it's holding this level of key support in here. But when it has decent sized moves, I wouldn't be surprised if say, eight, nine, 10 periods go by, periods is in each candlestick, and it price action gets to and above its previous level because that's what these markets do they just fly when they're ready to go well then I'm gonna end this video and then work on some of the extra trades because I got to put in uh, new orders for that against the Binance coin and hopefully this thing has is able to get above this 18 average of highs see I say the word hopefully because I don't know for sure what its next move is going to be. But yeah, that's what I want. I want it to come up and test this $115 area. And you know what? That might be where I put my sell order. I might not sell any against the dollar until then. Maybe put an order to sell at about $115. And then the equivalency to the TUSD. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about Poloniex after this in a second. And then maybe put a buy order back in at about uh, 85, just this little key area here after the sell, and then just do incremental sells higher at probably a decent size rate of a cents. Because a lot of times I'll trade at five, 10% moves. I showed you the example against Binance coin, how I'm trading at really smaller interval moves. But against this, I'm gonna probably wanna trade this against the currency against uh, with larger moves like 40 50 percent moves kind of deal and of course on this case going to 115 we're talking about uh well much much uh it's got to almost double from here now on polo nex they've got a new coin that they're a new us dollar coin they have they've announced a new exchange is going to be coming within it and this is it right here the usdc for new now uh, I see the tether here I see Bitcoin and Ethereum I don't see Litecoin there but if they do add it here I, you know what I probably trade it and with that I'm going to conclude the second video for today usually it's been one a day and I'd like to uh, Wish everybody a good weekend coming up soon. Good day and all that type of jazz. Take care. Bye-bye.